are finding gold on bedrock. How much gold are we finding? I don't know, but definitely not this. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I'm back in BC and still not used to the weather. That's why I have a face jacket on right now. Joining me today is Bailey. He's here to help me crevice and see what kind of gold we can find. I just did a test pan and I did find a little bit of gold. So I'm gonna work this bedrock in, see what we can find. So because I don't have my wetsuit with me or a metal detector, I'm stuck playing the guessing game, which isn't the best way to find gold, but as long as I'm working on the bedrock, I'll still find something. Moment of tooth. Nice! One piece of poop, two piece of poop. I thought I saw something down there. Oh, maybe three piece of poop. Let's keep going. Like I said, I'm playing the guessing game. The way to win is you have to test a bunch of different spots till you find the spot that's hiding the most gold. And that's pretty much it. I paid one dollar for this shovel and already broke. Okay, so I did another shovel and uh, this is what I got. I believe this is pen number three. It's getting better, I think. But uh, yeah, definitely the most gold I've ever found in my life. I'll continue along in this crack and once I clean it out completely, I might move down over here. <laughs> or I might go over here where I've actually found a couple nice pickers while detecting. I don't know, so many options. Oh yeah. Look at all this juicy yum yums. Juicy yum yums in my gold pan. See this bedrock in here that's breaking up? That's what you like because that is where gold will hide. I've actually found pieces of gold on these shale pieces. I don't see anything in here. But it goes in the pan anyway. Now this brush is my favorite brush for crevicing. It works super well, wet or dry, and I highly recommend them. And I will be selling them on my website as soon as I can get them made. So stay tuned for that. Yo. Gold panning. Listen up. Uh. I'm using a brush, scratching up all the dirt. I'm trying to clean the bedrock, put in the work so I can find some gold and raise the vibe, maybe convince you to like. Share and subscribe, please. So pan number four, it looks like it's getting a wee better. We have our biggest little piece of the day so far. Not really sure, but it's still consistent gold. And I think that is a result of digging in the bedrock. Okay, so this is as clean as I want to get it. Now I could get right into here and follow this up and really work it, but I kind of don't want to. So I brought everything down in here, sucked it up, and now I have it in the pan. Let's see what's in there. I think the best pan of the year. How much gold do you think should be in? Point one. Point one. <laughs> point hundred. Zero point zero three. Oh no man. Okay, so it looks about the same as we have been getting. So I'm gonna move to a different spot and hopefully do twice as bad. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Finding any candy? Found a picker. Already? Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, not bad. You're doing better than I am. I found maybe one piece of sand and that was it. There's that's a, a big nugget. It's a tiny piece, but we got two pieces. That's cool. So Bailey's working right in here. I know this crevice goes all the way down here and continues all the way up. For me, it's just too much work, so I'll let him do it. So I want to work around this corner, but before I do, I notice this ugly spot. You got some big chunks of ugly bedrock right here. I'm just going to quickly do a test pan and see if there's anything special lying within. So it took me a little while to get this big piece of bedrock out of the way because it was hard, but I eventually got it loose enough to get it out. So I just want to get all the material inside of this little crevice here. You'd be really surprised how much gold can get trapped in such a little crack. It's not always the case, but it's worth trying. I should really be using gloves here, but I'm not. Uh, yeah. I like to thank my mom and my dad and everybody 
it for this rock. This is my gold pen. There are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> so this crevice didn't have much gold in it at all. There's maybe about nine ounces in it, but not what we're looking for. So we're gonna go over there. So I'm standing on bedrock on an inside bend. The last time I was here, I creviced this whole area, I think off camera, and I did find a lot of fine gold. So I just did a test up in here, and then I found that. So again, the gold here is really consistent, which I really like. Now I could just sit in one spot and then get that all day long, but I just can't sit still that long. Plus I kind of want to walk around and do tests to see if I can find a spot that's even better than the rest, you know? So on this bedrock, if you come up here, I just dug a little hole. And it looks like there is some material in here that is worth checking out. So I'm going to dig some of this out and give it a pan and then see what there is. Another tool I highly recommend is a spoon. These are very, very useful and can dig up anything you want, even an elevator. This material doesn't really look all that good now that I'm looking at it with my eyeballs but it's worth a try because gold doesn't care where it goes as long as it goes down it's hard to pan with one hand that's why i can't show you every pan i do but this one i did see a sparkle in there so i know there is gold in here yes a sparkle right there and huh a sparkle right there Unless that was the same one. But I saw more than that, but I'm pretty sure I just dropped it. Whether I dropped the gold or not, I don't really care. We have established that there is gold on this claim, even though I've established it a million times. I'm just out here having fun today. Now I know for sure there are going to be some pockets here that are just loaded in gold nuggets as I found them downstream and way upstream before. I think in the summertime when the river drops a lot, I want to go check out this area a bit more. And now that I have an underwater breathing system, AKA the blue diving system, which is gonna help a lot. It saves us from hauling our scuba gear down here, which is a big reason why I haven't dove here before. And I almost died a couple years ago. But other than that, there's bigger gold here somewhere. How you do, boo? We found some little stuff. Little stuff? That's good. The last time I was here, I mal detected another signal up here, but then I couldn't find it. I just kept re-digging it. And I guess I kept reburying it, but I could never actually pick it up and figure out where it was. I say that as if I'm gonna go look for it right now, but I'm not. <laughs> so I don't know if you've noticed or not, but for about a year now, I've stopped using my camera crew. I love my camera crew, but if I want to post more videos more often and without having an editor, I have to cut my expenses and cut the time off the bigger edits. So long story short, I'm using Bailey's sweater to hold my camera. <sighs> Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half or so. I haven't been finding too much gold because I haven't really been looking for gold. I've kind of just been sitting around and watching Bailey look for gold and kind of just taking in the fresh air. I wasn't expecting to shoot a crazy video today. I just wanted to get outside, do a couple test pans and then take you guys along. I will probably spend the next hour or so doing what I was doing and just kind of spot testing. And then uh, I'll call it a day. And if I think the gold is worth weighing, we'll go back to my house, weigh the gold, but if not, I'll just show you a close up and uh, we'll end it right there. Laugh, 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 laugh. All right, so it's about to call it a day. And then I decided to work a little closer to the river. And then I found our best pieces of the day a handful of fly poop and two nice pokers. I'm going to carry on right here and uh, see if it gets any better before we call it a day. Juicy yum yums in my goat pan. <clears throat> because I had some time and I get bored easily, I thought I'd work on this video's thumbnail. It has to be perfect. That'll do. Alright, moment of tooth. Pan number five million. I'm already starting to see a bit of gold right there. So we know that there might be gold in the pan. But how many? Oh wow, okay. Let me point the camera. That's pretty good if you ask me. We have one piece right there. We got a whole bunch over here. 
So it looks like working closer to the river in this crevice is our best bet. I like how I discovered this crevice at the end of the day. Usually that's how it happens, thanks to Murphy's Law. I'm gonna do one more pan out of this spot and then I'm gonna call it a day. Okay, after one more pan working in that spot, this is what we found. Not bad. This crack is good. Now I'm gonna dump out my snuffer bottle, put it in the pan, and then we're gonna find out if it's worth weighing or not. Okay, here is our gold. It, uh, I don't think it's worth weighing. I do wanna go home and weigh it, but I really don't think it's gonna weigh anything. Maybe 0.1, but yeah. So that is it for me. I know it was a short video, but again, I wasn't really planning on filming a video today. I thought I would just get out, have some fun, and take you guys along. I have a lot more videos coming up, especially as the weather gets lower and the water gets warmer. Water gets lower, weather, you know. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. If you want to see anything else extra, I do have other social media platforms open and even a Patreon where you get some exclusive stuff, including some early release videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, other videos that have a lot more gold than you saw today.